what we see going on here is the pleaching process in a snapshot in time. They haven't joined yet, but we have heavy contact between these stems and one of the main leaders of the tree. Over time, the pressure of these two expanding trunks begins to cause either joinery or decay between the branches. Pleaching is both good and bad. Before it pleaches, before they join, the two stems are interfering with each other and damaging each other. And eventually they either join and pleach and reinforce the structure of the plant, or they never join and they create a defect, a weakness in structure for the plant. Especially when they're pulled apart by a windstorm or heavy storm loads, the pleach might be broken. And now we have a place for termites and ants and other things to get active in the tree's structure. If we discover the potential of pleaching forms occurring within plant structures, we can eliminate them before they become a problem later. If they're already established and well developed in the plant, we just have to live with them and leave them. But when we can, we find it's better for the plant to remove these defects while they're young, while the plant is small, while the wounds are easy to heal. To correct this would require some very large cuts. We'd have to excise this leader out of the canopy of the tree. Also this one would be excised out of the plant. It might be a little bit late in the game to consider those those kinds of structural rescaffoldings at this stage. It's a long-term structural issue when trunks and main structural elements of a tree cross and braid through each other. Generally these rubbing and crossing branches and narrow crotching forms end up being defects and resulting in the early decline and demise of trees. When it reaches this stage of development, it's like cabling. You can see how this lateral limb has gone through this crotch and everything is just joining together. This limb and this limb, and this limb and the main stem here. So we have a very strong, robust structure, even though during the time of joinery, the abrasion and grinding through here must have caused bark damage on both sides. But finally the tree has accommodated this contact and the main stems have joined. This defect could have been prevented earlier on in the tree's life, but way early. This has been here a long time. Too late to intervene on this. We're just going to allow this defect to, to continue in the tree. It's, a, it's an interesting conversation piece as well.